The Center for UMass Industry Research on Polymers provides students with a truly unique opportunity to participate in a, a cooperative, collaborative way with industry R&D organizations on research projects that are trying to create new learnings that align with gaps or challenges those R&D organizations are experiencing. This is not a typical type of program that you would see at pretty much every other university that would have a PhD program in this field. It's a very unusual and unique offering that students uh, can participate in here. So one of the uh, benefits is that the research plan provides them with more of a real life experience in conducting research that has specific targets and goals and timelines and reporting requirements, which is a different type of research environment than what typically occurs when you're going into the lab to conduct your next experiment toward this long range goal of completing your PhD program. So the center provides a broad suite of programmatic offerings to companies to help them tailor the cooperative research endeavor to best meet their organization's needs. So this ranges from research clusters in which companies collectively participate in fundamental research that would be focused on a particular research theme to one-on-one -on -one sponsored research projects that provide for incorporating proprietary subject matter and materials and confidentiality provisions and intellectual property opportunities uh, for companies that wouldn't be available in a general consortium type of research. Uh, project. And then we also provide opportunities for companies to decide on the scope of these projects in terms of the duration and the overall level of research effort that's necessary to create the new learnings that would be translated back into their R&D organization. We also have master research alliances with a number of companies. Um, these are large offerings under which we have multiple projects occurring simultaneously with a company involving multiple, typically multiple divisions uh, within a company's R&D organization. And then we also have joint research programs with industry involving grants where we are either the prime or the subcontractor organization for a project funded by a, a government agency. Uh, these agencies include the Department of Defense, Department of Energy, et cetera. These types of projects are uh, leveraging the entire suite of instrumentation facilities in this building, which is considerable, covers essentially every imaginable type of structure property and morphology characterization equipment that one might imagine, rivaling uh, what you might find in the largest chemical companies in the world. So since the uh, main objective is to have industry cooperative research going on campus-wide in the field of polymer sciences and engineering, we involve a lot of faculty. Just during the last five years, that's been 40 faculty across eight different departments in the College of Natural Sciences and the College of Engineering. And that research has involved about 120 graduate students and about 25 postdocs, and also uh, a half a dozen visiting scientists. We provide a, an unusual opportunity for companies who participate in these cooperative research programs. They get to directly interact with top-level PhD students in, in the field of polymer sciences and engineering. They also, by virtue of having regularly scheduled meetings with the faculty member directing the project and the students on that project, they uh, have a unique ability to actually assess a graduate researcher's capabilities and insights and ability to fit as a potential employee within their organization. We also have uh, semi-annual meetings that are attended by industry. And at those meetings, we offer a substantial poster session during which industry technologists can interact with students and they can kind of track their progress over a group of years and identify specifically graduate students and postdocs who they would like to hire. So this provides them with an amazing opportunity to mitigate what otherwise is a pretty significant risk for a company in a standard interviewing process to identify who they want to make an offer to. About 80% of the 
graduate student researchers participating on industry-sponsored research end up being hired by industry sponsors under this center. UMass Amherst Polymer Science Engineering Department has so many programs going on and to follow all that research would be very difficult without being a member of the Coomer program and having the opportunity to join the clusters to get even more in-depth information on that research. So it's had a lot of value to my company and we look forward to continuing that relationship. We have currently six research clusters, so those in, in the areas of uh, drug delivery and polymers in the bio arena, polymers in the uh, energy area, uh, which include things like chemical upcycling and sustainability, polymers and composites in uh, flame retardant systems, uh, which has been funded by the FAA for multiple decades as a lead anchor sponsor of the program, mechanics of polymers and additive manufacturing. Uh, we have a cluster on nanostructured materials. We have a new cluster on filamentous materials. In general, these clusters provide research themes that companies have identified as of particular interest generally to their R&D organization. So the new learnings created from those research activities can be useful for those companies. So at PAC, we have a biannual QMOP, it's a polymer event, where you go ahead and present your research as poster presentations or in general presentations to all the members of PAC and members of different companies who come to visit the campus. And that gives you a place to share your research and get perspectives from physicists, chemists, engineers on how and what they see it as. I feel it's a really benefit of being at PSC. So QMERP gives me a lot of connections to different people from industry or even academia. It holds like polymer event and that polymer event was really helpful for me like to present my works to different people. I got productive feedback from them and I felt very happy to share my works. It also induced me to think about like how to connect my work to industry. Getting the PPG fellowship made me more confident about my research works and the fellowship I got from industry through QMERP like motivates me a lot to work harder and like by getting the stipend I don't have to worry about my money so that I can focus on my research. If you're interested in learning more about the research going on in the six active research clusters on the part one program uh, reach out to us and we can provide you with more detailed information and discuss ways that you can participate in one or multiple clusters.